In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys my personal experience when it comes to the difference between a business and then being an employee. Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present, where we talk about business, finance, and life-related matters. If you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. So here's the thing, guys. Just to give you a little bit of a background, um, here are the things that I went through in my life. I'm currently 26 years old as of this recording. And at the age of 10, I was able to venture into a business with my brother. My brother had a cell phone accessories business and I'm his assistant in a way. I'm not getting paid because I was still 10 years old. The gap that I had with him was around 13 years. So he was 23, I was 10 years old and that was how the business started. And every time he is looking for suppliers in Luzon area, what, where, wherever in the world, right? I'm the one who's left here in Davao City making sure that the clients are maintained and then asking for collections and delivering the products that we promised. And at the age of 16, I got myself into the network marketing business for three years. So that was when I was exposed to the public speaking space and how do you sell like products like food supplements and things like that. And recruitment, unilevel, pairing and you know, all the network marketing terminologies. And then I got my first employment at the age of 19 as a part-time. And eventually, after four years and six months, I got my second employment, which I was responsible for doing sales, operations, and logistics in an agriculture and importation business, which is a family business of my, uh, which is my uncle's. And then after that, I got myself into the business world, like really full-time business for the past like a year or two years already. So, what I'm trying to say is that I went through the business world or being a non, like a business person and then doing the employment thing and I would say there are major differences between the two and I would like to share them with you. Now this video is definitely for you if you are an employee who's looking for or who wants to start your own business. This is also for you if you want to you want to know the difference between the two maybe you're just uh, in the graduating college and then you want to understand where what kind of path or yeah where do you want to go okay so difference of the two are the following four things number one is that time freedom so guys it may sound cliche but it's actually true when i was doing my employment work like time freedom seems like it didn't exist you know because even if the job is like eight to five especially during my first employment it's eight to five but for some reason we are required to get in it's 30 minutes earlier for some reason and so it's like that right and so there are moments that after five i still have to work because we are catching up with new projects so it's not really eight to five you're not working eight hours a day it's like you're working around 12 or 14 hours a day right and during my second employment it was also different because i did not have a, like a time in or time out as long as i delivered the result but it was also a handful because i was responsible for sales operations and logistics you know like the importation that's coming in i need to know where it is so there are moments that even if even if it's 12 a.m i still have to communicate with the truckers where they at to make sure that to avoid charges from the port or from the shipping lines like demurrage or detentions if you are in the importation space you know what i'm referring to okay so those were the moments wherein you feel like you don't have the time however if you are in business it feels like you don't have the time because especially if you're starting out you have to exert a lot of your time and energy in making sure that your business is up and running right so you have to spend a lot of time in thinking your your marketing your products your sales your systems your finances everything however when this is set up when all of these things are set up in a way that's correct then you would actually if you're doing it right what i'm referring to is if you're doing it right in terms of setting it up in your business then you would you should have more time actually right so that's the major difference between the two. The first one is time freedom. Based on my, on my own experience, there are some people, they have a different experience. Like when they started working, 
they have a lot of time because they just log in at 8 and then log out at 5 and do whatever they want after that and then do the same thing all over again. But, but when they started their own business, it's a totally different game because they have to start something at 6 and then end at 9 p.m. It really depends, right? But that's according to my own experience because that's how, I don't know, my work ethic is in terms of my employment and business. All right, so that's number one, time freedom. Number two is income, right? When it comes to income, guys, during my employment days, I had a fixed income, but when it comes to the business world, you had a variable income. So in the very first salary that I got was 31 pesos and 75 cents in an hour. So it's like a, a burger of McDonald's is more expensive than my hourly rate, but that's just how it is if you are in the employment world. So that's my experience by the way so the point is if you have if you are in business if you are in an employee you have a fixed income that you're getting on a monthly basis because of your salary your employer is required to pay you that certain amount because that's what you agreed upon in the contract so they have to pay you for that so in your mind you are expected to receive a certain amount on a monthly basis however if you are in business it really depends on how your business is performing so if you don't have sales you don't have income if you have sales then you have income but as to how much that is it really depends on how your business is performing are you getting it so it's like there's also a pressure on your end because in your employment world if it doesn't have sales but the fact is your employer has to pay you then you are somehow secured but in your business if you don't have sales you don't have income so that's also a risk that you have to take if you are confident enough that you can make sales if you have sales for your business that allows you to earn income then congratulations but if you don't have the guts to make it happen or you don't have the skills to find a way to make revenue for your business then maybe employment is better for you okay so that's number two number three is accountability right if you are working as an employee the accountability of that part is just for your certain task you have to make sure that whatever it is that you are asked to do you have to deliver it because that's what you are expected to do Okay? Whatever is the job description, the scope of your work, you have to deliver that because that's what you're asked to do. However, in the business world, you are accountable for everything if you are the entrepreneur, if you are the business person. For example, if this is you, you are the CEO, you have your operations manager, he's the one responsible to, in, in making sure that everything is in check and you are delivering the services on time and the products are good of quality. Marketing, then they are responsible for like making sure that everybody is everybody knows about you and the sales are converting, right? And then you have your finance person. So even if it is the fault of your finance person, it is also your fault. If your operations team is not performing well, then you have to take the accountability as well because you are the owner. So you may have more freedom in terms of time to think about these things but it also means that you have to be accountable especially when things are going haywire see so that's just how it is unlike if your job if you mess this up then this is the only scope that you then you only messed up this part but if you are not performing as the owner of the business then every the, your entire organization will be affected as well so what I'm trying to say is that you have more responsibility when you become an entrepreneur, okay? And the last one, which is the fourth one, the major difference in terms of business and <clears throat> employment is taxes. So in, in the employment world, guys, here's how it works. If you haven't been an employee yet or if you're an employee, you understand what I'm talking about is that before you even get your salary, you are taxed already, right? So if you're saying that you're earning, let's say, around 20000 or 25000 a month because you are a manager, congratulations, that's a good number, right? But you're, that's gr uh, gross. So they still have to deduct your, your SSS contribution if you're here in the Philippines, the PhilHealth, the Pag-ibig, and the tax. 
So that is why there is a terminology out there in the finance world called net of tax. And that's the amount that you're getting if you are in the employment world. In the business, it's a different thing. You earn money, all of the, all of the revenue and sales that your business is earning, they record it, of course, you have to record it for legalities, right? And after that, you can spend whatever it is that you have to spend on, for example, office supplies, or you have to uh, mortgage payment, or equipment payment, or whatsoever, okay? And whatever is left, you get tax. You also have a, a percentage tax based on your sales. However, that comes after, like some, uh, it happens like once a year or quarterly, it depends. No, it's not really, it depends. It, it, act, it happens once a year, right? So those are the major difference between a business and employment in terms of taxation. So in summary, four things. Major difference between being a business person or entrepreneur versus an employee is this. Number one is time freedom, right? Number two is income, okay? It really depends if you are performing well. Number three is accountability. And last one is taxes. So I'm revealing this to you guys because a lot of people think that being an employee is always bad, but it's, it doesn't. A lot of people think that if you, if you are a business owner or entrepreneur, you're rich, but it doesn't, not all the time. It really depends. But based on my own experience, that's how the, those are the major differences. It has its own benefits and it also has its own cons. At the end of the day, you just have to choose whatever it is that you want to choose and then deal with it. Right? I've been an employee for a total of six years and yeah, four years and six months plus two years and one month, so six years and seven months in total in two specific, in different industries and I have been an, like an entrepreneur as well and it's a totally different ball game. But for me, I think the path really is, for me, it's really more about the business side. But that's for me, I'm not sure for you, so this video is just letting you know that those are the difference. Now, if this video, added value to you in any way don't forget to smash the like button and also um, the question of the day is this let us know your answer in the comment section is this what do you think is a better fit for you and why is it being an entrepreneur or being an employee let us know your thoughts in the comment section and see you on the next video mm -hmm.